I can't get the car out of park. I can't put it in reverse. Clutch in, over, and it won't go. Push it down to go in reverse. It won't go in reverse. But when the car is on, it don't want to go in first gear. It almost died. It nudges forward. It nudges forward as I try to put it in first, but it just won't go into gear. So I'm gonna have to turn the car off. And then put it in first, start the car. And that's how I get it going. And we can hear something when I push it in. Hear that? That sounds like... That sounds like... The clutch line... Or is, what does that sound like? I'm not sure. But that, that ain't normal. I know that for sure. It did not sound like this um, when this first started. But then until I drove the car that day, which I probably never should have. But until I drove the car, then now this is um, the problem. I'm not sure if y'all can see, but it is snowing out a little bit. And as I am, all right now I'm in fifth gear. I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna go down to sixth. It's stuck, and then it goes in. To go back to fifth, it won't let me go into fifth. I have to downshift into fifth at the right RPM. So if I try to go into fifth, it's stuck. It won't let me go into fifth. But let me rev the RPM up a little bit. Wait. Oh, that's still stuck. Sometimes, there it goes. Now I'm in the fifth. If I rev it up at the right RPM at a certain speed, then it'll allow me, into, allow me to go into gear. All right, I am pulling up once again, and it looks even packed than before, unless these are cars that they finished, and people haven't come to pick them up yet. But um, hopefully I don't have to wait a long ass time again, but we're gonna see, man, we're gonna see. All right, so I'm over here with my buddy Angel. Just picked me up. Um, there's my Destang over there. The guy, they're gonna look at it. I don't know how, how long they're gonna take to look at the car, but other than that, um, we're just gonna see and I'll wait for an update and I'll continue in the next clip. All right, what's up, y'all? I'm bringing y'all back, continuing the video. It's been like a week. I dropped the car off last Monday. Now, ever since that last segment, it's been a whole week. Um, I'm heading back to the shop right now to pick up the car. Just got a new fresh cut. In the cut, we looking fresh out here. I'm about to pick the car up, so I'm feeling good, you know? All this and that. I'm going to get the car right now. Um, I don't know what they did to the car it's the whole week that they got it. So, as soon as we get to the shop, everything that I see, that I learned that's new, is what y'all about to hear for the first time as well. The only thing I heard from them when they called me is that your car is ready to go. So, we about to pull up actually right now to the shop. And let's uh, continue and see what they did to the car and what this problem was the whole time. Oh look, that bad boy is right there. Ready to go. A little sketch thing went down before, you know, when I brought the car in before. So I'm gonna let y'all know when I get the car and everything, when I get in the Mustang. Let's go. What's up? How's it going? Uh, you guys got the Mustang all fixed? All right, do you know what the problem was? Did they ever tell you? Yeah. So it's a slave cylinder. So you can't replace the slave cylinder alone. You you replace the whole the whole clutch. So the slave cylinder was on back order. No, the whole clutch. Or, you can't buy it yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I got a whole new other. So it was just a slave cylinder. So guys, like many of you predicted, and what I predicted, it um, it was a slave cylinder. That was a problem. Oh uh, yeah, I can't. I, I won't lose him. I won't lose him. <laughs> I won't lose him. <laughs> All right, I'll explain to you guys what happened when I, I lost the receipt. Don't lose your receipts, guys. Returns. Oh, okay, so so you put what brand clutches you guys put in there? Yeah, I put the whole thing. This is the, uh, this is the clutch. Here. See, this, the slave cylinder has a spring on it. Yeah. 
but I put the whole the clutch is brand new you could see yeah but this part this is the slave the spring yeah. goes on there it wasn't traveling so the spring so it was never re never letting the clutch release okay okay all right so that does make a lot of sense so yeah for you guys out there that was having the same issue I know there's a lot of issues that can go wrong many of you were saying it was your transmission many of you were saying uh, whatever we were down in the comment section of the last video but like I said a lot of people said it was my throttle bearing or a slave cylinder and that's what it was so this is the um, the Satchin's clutch this is the whole clutch kit okay and then do you know do you know the brand of the clutch that's in the car now the what do you know the brand of the clutch Ford that, right it's a Ford, Ford. This is the box that came So in. I got another four clutch. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, for sure. Sounds good. All right. Thank you. No problem, bro. Appreciate brother. you guys is, uh, helping me out. Hey, getting the job done, for sure. Well, I told you, what's fair is fair. Yeah. I couldn't find that because you were here like two weeks ago, and we told you to bring it back. Yeah. So when you came, I pulled your ticket out of the oh. file, and I put it up here. Oh. Okay. And it was behind another paper. Yeah. So I'm looking, I'm looking, I can't, after you left, remember I called you, I told you I found it? Yeah. Okay. All right, let me, let me take, let me say something back. So when I brought the car here two weeks ago, um, they said that they only rebuilt the transmission of my car. They didn't put a clutch in. But they did put a clutch in my car and they rebuilt my transmission six months ago or whatever. However though, they couldn't find it in the system that they did my clutch. And I lost the receipt for that. So I'm like, there's no way that you guys are saying that you didn't put a clutch in my car. Like, you put a whole new clutch in here, and you guys are saying that you didn't do it, this and that. So they're like, do you have a receipt? And I was like, no, I, I, I misplaced the receipt. I don't know where it is. But they also misplaced their receipt too, and they misplaced it in the system. But now he finally got back to me and said that, oh, he found the receipt now. So I got saved from that. Okay, so they put another clutch in the car as, as you guys heard he put a Ford performance clutch in the car which is I'm pretty sure the the clutch that comes stock in these cars um, the clutch that you guys seen that was in that box that they're all bearing um, that was the stuff that was the whole clutch kit that was in the car when everything was messing up that brand that clutch that was in that box was Satches and it was from this sh this shop it was their brand clutch the only reason why I you know I'm not upgrading to another clutch right now is simply because the car is under warranty and you know if it's on the warranty i'm not about to pay for another clutch right now and especially since the clutch had what how many miles on it like seven thousand eight thousand miles on that clutch that they just put in that box that's freaking brand new now this car has another clutch in here this is the fourth clutch in this car and the car only has forty two thousand miles on it if you, i could go through the whole backstory with the dealership you know they put another clutch in the car um and then the there was a problem with that clutch so i took it here and they put a clutch in my car and then now we just experienced a problem with their clutch and they took it out and then now they just put another clutch in so much stuff <laughs> as you guys seen the slave cylinder that was in the box um that was a problem it wasn't releasing right with the spring or whatever and unfortunately what i was thinking was that when you replace a slave cylinder you probably only have to have to replace that by itself but he said no when you replace the slave cylinder the throttle bearing you would have to replace the whole clutch kit for some of you that might go through that problem when you have to pay for the clutch yourself if if it's not under warranty that might just suck for you but i mean i guess it is what it is you got to get your car going and whatever but my clutch and transmission were under warranty so i didn't pay for anything at all because they installed that thing and it just malfunctioned you know stuff happens things happen it just malfunctioned uh, that's what i'm thinking um or it, maybe the clutch just wasn't even strong enough to hold the power that i was putting into this car but as far as upgrading upgrading into a new clutch um that's gonna come when if this clutch blows in this car so yeah but without further ado let's get the first start up of the car get this thing up on out of here oh yeah Woo! this thing this clutch it feels good it feels really good all right, boom, first startup. Oh yeah, that bad boy, should've did it with the doors open. Man, of course it's gonna go on the first clutch in, first gear, yes sir. We back in action, y'all. Okay, we're gonna back up on out of here. In reverse, yes, man, it, it feels so much better. The, the clutch pedal is, it's different. It's like very, 
I don't even know how to explain it. Different, way more different than the clutch that I had in here before, the pedal feel. Um, it, it just goes down like very easy, like very fucking smooth. I'm not, obviously, it's gonna be different, you know, when you get a new clutch and everything, but I mean, it's different. That's what I'm feeling right now. All right, so I just pulled up over at my old job here. I still come here to talk with my other coworkers and bosses and whatnot. Any of you who don't know what really went wrong and the symptoms of, you know, basically what went wrong with my car, the slave cylinder malfunctioned in the car. I filmed a symptomatic video. I'm gonna put the link up here, one of these spots up here. You can check out the symptoms that I was going through. If you're trying to figure out why your car is, you know, if, if the slave cylinder might be the same issue in your car. When the car was on and I try to put it in first, so say like if the car's on right now, and I try to put it in first, it won't go into first gear. It wouldn't go in reverse. It wouldn't go in any gears at all while the car is on. However, if I turn the car off, I can put the car in first gear and then I can get the car to get moving and get out of the spot. Took it to the shop and now they have solved the problem. They saw that the problem was the slave cylinder and that the spring, which you guys saw, what you know, the guy said, the spring wasn't releasing the clutch, disengaging the clutch, clutch correctly. And that was a problem of that. So the shop, they don't specialize in Mustangs. I should have took it to a guy um, who specialized in Mustangs in the area, but it was all complicated when I first got the car, uh, simply because of the wait time. I didn't want to wait too long. This shop could have done it way quicker. That's why I went to them. But now, you know, I, we experienced a few problems and I guess, I guess that's what you do when you don't take it to someone who's really experienced. But the shop I took it to was really experienced too, so. Hopefully, they got it down packed this time. They put a different, they put the four clutch in here now, the stock clutch, so I'm hoping everything is going right. Um, I put a whole symptomatic video up, so go check that out if you guys are interested. Other than that though, stay tuned for the channel. Make sure you like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned in, and we go.